Welcome to the pregame. This is a good time for you to get your popcorn, get ready, because when the real show starts, it's going to get good. It's real good. So uh, don't forget to hit that like, share, and that subscribe button, all that good stuff. And uh, just stay tuned because, like I said, this, these Clearwater meetings are always fun. So I'm out. Soli Ecker. Deuces. Run. Run. Yeah, run. Get out of here. Kick rocks, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. You see me coming. The best thing for you to do is run. Let's see who's in this car. <laughs> Is that Banks? Hey Banks, is that you man? Oh, it is Banks. What's up, G? What's up, G Money? You right? Oh, I'm living that dream, dog. You ready for a good night? What's the game plan? The game plan is uh, hopefully you respect my rights today. I've always been respectful. Too. Oh man, Every, but why do I keep getting kicked out of these meetings? I don't know. You know, they're, they're, we have a First Amendment, right? We do. You know, and even if you don't like what I have to say, sometimes we just have to deal with it, right? Okay. Yeah, you know. And, and that's what I'm dealing with right now, you know? Yeah. Is that, you know, I try to use my First Amendment even though I, I don't like Mr. Unks. He's like, look, look at my shirt. You like it? Yeah. You wear a last one? Uh, yeah, that's why I keep getting kicked out. I've gotten kicked out twice, and uh, I'm thinking today's gonna be strike three for them. You know? It's not gonna, it's not looking good. But hey, we're gonna have a fun time. I'm gonna try to keep it as peaceful as I can. Hopefully nobody gets arrested like, uh, you know, Mr. Haluba. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, once again, his First Amendment. Oh, the thin skin of Brian Unks and gets arrested. I mean, come on. He, he should have the right to say it. And then uh, we'll make sure I'll clear the traffic for you, bro. Don't worry. Oh, Mr. Stiff, dog, dude. I'm going to try to be extremely nice to you today. I am, man. But I, I saw the video and I saw what happened. Let's go. Alright, this is the last time. Fucking dare you. And I don't, I'm like, man, dude, that didn't have to happen. You know, that really didn't have you know that didn't have to happen. Come on, man. Come on, Stiff. Hey, after this, after we're done with this meeting, you wanna go get some pizza? Me, you, and Haluba go get some pizza together. Where are you going, downtown? Well, right over here, man. Downtown. Dude, that, that pizza joint is friggin' banging, dude. Yeah, Come on, Stiff. Come on. Me, you, Haluba, get a pizza. Kind of squash the, squash the, the squabbles. Don't worry. Man, you arrested him, bro. Come on. I'm sorry. It's a library. I'll see you in a minute. He, he's good, right? Yeah, we're just talking. All right, cool, man. I just, I, I was concerned about yeah. the last incident. You don't mind my giving you Me too. I'm, I'm unarmed. I have to be okay. unarmed. Really? Yeah. Get out of here, buddy. Can't be doing that. Not during, not inside the council chambers, right? There's a state law for that. <laughs> oh, Kelsey, come on, you can't run from me. I'm too quick for you. Come on. Hey. I gotta go to my post. I'm on bathroom. Hey, which, which ways, well, obviously, Unks isn't here, so which way is everybody else sneaking out the back door tonight? I have no idea. All right. Did we learn anything about the Second Amendment? Alexis Kelsey and Winter. Aguel, who are under Mr. Stiff's supervision. 
civil rights violation, wrongful search and seizure, false arrest. And what do they get? They get a letter of reprimand. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. God bless America. Hey, I, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting on the records request to get the IA. So I mean, we'll find out exactly. So, but anyway, as long as you learn something about it, that's sure all I care about because you know I'm the Second Amendment guy. Right. I could, I just like I met Meg Hasty mm -hmm. on the beach when I was carrying my AR-15. Yeah, I could have met you, and who knows how that would have gone. I work on the beach, so you won't see me Thank friggin' the Lord. But anyway, are you gonna are you gonna arrest me if I uh, speak my free speech? Banks, he I said he was gonna leave me alone today. Banks said he was gonna leave me alone. I'll, I'll be following Banks. So. All right, Banks, you heard her. She's following your lead, bro. <laughs> they slaughtered. They took your chair away, bro. That's messed up, man. I enjoyed watching you read your book. Stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America. Did you fill out a card? Oh, sorry. You can do no. you can do that after you speak. I'll fill that out. Um, just so I understand, uh, my name is Michael Taylor. Uh, Four hundred twelve dollars for three for the next three years just for internet service. Correct? Is so like. You know, I, I have home internet at my house that cost me like, you know, $120. And don't get me wrong, I get it, it's, you know, citywide. But <clears throat> we're talking almost a half million dollars for internet service for the next three years. Dude. I mean, I, I wish I had a half million dollars to have whatever. I don't know, are you talking like 5G? Or are we talking how like, it, it sounds a little extravagant for almost a half a million dollars. And that's, I don't even live here, and I, I think that's a little bit of a stretch. But maybe the you know the citizens that live here would agree with it. But even for me, I, I'm helping put into that pot too, and you know that's just what I feel. So. Legitimate question. I'd be happy to answer that. Um, it is a matter of scale. Um, the city receives well over a million emails annually, hundreds of thousands, three hundred thousand roughly. Uh, on any given month during the busiest months down to, to a little bit less. Um, our major systems are now hosted in the cloud, so we don't save our critical systems in a closet in a building any longer uh, due to concerns with hurricane and security. Uh, we are, to a large degree, entrusting large corporate entities to protect our data, Microsoft, Oracle, Cisco, uh, and their offerings are no longer uh, in the form of here is your license, go ahead and load it on your local so as we have these critical systems, 55,000 customer accounts that are serviced every month, uh, a lot of critical information, uh, our financial information, uh, transactions that go on, um, it's an enormous amount. We do a lot of video. We do more video both for public safety, uh, traffic control and management. Um, it is uh, as uneasy as it makes some of us feel at times, uh, the reality of how we are able to execute level of service, it's public safety um, task that we, we, we hold dear to and that we think defines our community as a very safe place and a very efficient place to live. Uh, so it is a matter of scale and it is a lot of money. And it's not the smallest item we pay for on an annual basis. So I am empathetic, um, but I don't know another way. Thank you. Uh, the, there are astronomical numbers, but when you consider, you know, we just can't hook up to uh, one system and have it for $100 a month. Uh, I, I appreciate everything that you folks do to keep everything up and running and to get all that information out there, uh, including all the video that you do. Uh, do we have anyone else who wishes to speak to this? No? Okay. Uh, can I have a motion? Motion to approve agenda item 6.2. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Approved. 6.3. Authorize an increase and an extension to purchase order with Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company at doing business as Goodyear Commercial Tires and Service Center 
and Monroe Inc. for the purchase of Goodyear tire products and services for city motorized equipment in a cumulative not to exceed amount of $200,000, bringing the total amount to $870,000 and extend through June 30, 2024, pursuant to Clearwater Code of Ordinances Section 2.563, paren 1, paren C, piggyback or cooperative purchasing, and authorize the appropriate officials to execute same. Um, my name is Mike Taylor. Um, how many vehicles do you have in working order in this? It's not a question and answer, Terry. You don't have to do that. It's not a question and answer. Just get back and let us three minutes. Oh, um, I, all right. Well, uh, just out of, you know, doing simple math out of my head, let's just say $200 a tire, four, four tires, and then you multiply that by 1,000 cars, right? Let's just say you have 1,000 cars. I don't know. That's why I was trying to figure it out. Maybe this is justified. But if you have less than a thousand cars and it's two hundred dollars a tire, you're already at eight hundred thousand dollars at just that that number. And you know, once again, are we going? Are we doing a NASCAR race or are we bringing NASCAR here? That's why we need new tires. I mean, I'm just kind of curious. Like these are big numbers. This is a, almost a million dollars, a million dollars for tires, and this only goes for the next three months. We're at the we're almost through the end of March, April, May, June. You know, we're talking like three months right now, and you want another 200K for three months? I mean, if, you know, if y'all are going to vote how you vote, and I get it, it's just, you know, some of these people really need to start doing math and seeing, and start understanding where this money's going. Like, I get, you know, I wish I would have spoke on the last one. I get the bridge, but, I mean, 200K for three months for some tires? I mean, like, even NASCAR drivers don't go through that many tires, so, but I, 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 under, I understand your concern, Mr. Taylor. I, I, I'm assuming we're also dealing with fire trucks, garbage trucks, yeah, uh, every it's huge all, vehicle we have. It's all equipment. Yeah. And this contract was from 2019, hence the large total amount. Yeah. Um, and tires have gotten more extensive, and they're going to continue to rise. Vice Mayor, if I may also. Uh, yes. Dan Slaughter, Assistant City Manager. I want to make sure we're clear. We're not adding $200,000 into an existing contract. I think this contract started in 2019. It expired end of March, or it's going to expire end of March. So this $200,000 is to fund us for the next three months of operation. You take the $890,000 divided by four, you're about there at that same amount of money. The tires, as you pointed out, it's not the ones that he's talking about that we use at NASCAR. It's the ones that we use for like the dump trucks, the fire trucks. They're very costly and expensive. Yeah. And so this doesn't also indicate that he's going to expend it all. It's just the availability expense should be needed in the next three months. I appreciate that. Thank, Thank you. you. Just stay tuned. Like I said, have your popcorn ready because the, the, the real show is coming out next. And I promise I'll release that probably right after this video. Yeah. They're going to love this. Ha, 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 ha.